Lesson 4 Business English for Design Legal Consultancy for Contracts We are all architects, designers, interior designers, and we are here to sell our project to someone else. Sell, it's not a bad word. Sell means that we make our living out of it. And so we shouldn't be afraid of the value of the word selling. But we have to remember that when we are selling a project, we are selling ourselves with it. But when we are selling ourselves, it's not about our body or the way we look but it's actually about our professional skills and what we have done for the project and what we have done in terms of our skills and our knowledge. So what I'm trying to say here is that we should always be a little careful, depending on who we have in front of us, A, on how we express ourselves and B, on how we dress. Some people tend to follow fashion, which is a very good thing to do. Some others tend to be themselves, meaning they have their own fashion, their own ways of dressing, but we should not underdress or overdress. What I'm saying by this is that <clears throat> in my teaching days in New York, I have lots of students and sometimes I notice that uh, particularly young uh, girls have a tendency to come to formal meetings uh, dressed in a way which suggests maybe a little bit too much. And I'm just warning you, one more time, you are selling your professional skills and, and your project, but not yourself in terms of your body. Affrontiamo adesso gli aspetti legali e la protezione del diritto d'autore connessi all'espletamento di un progetto. L'ingegner Verdi incontra l'avvocato dello studio che gli chiarisce alcuni aspetti contrattuali riguardanti le penalità in caso di ritardi sulle scadenze fissate, i diritti sulle immagini dell'edificio e l'estensione per l'estero della copertura assicurativa. Good morning, Miss Russell. As regards the new project we are preparing the letter of appointment for, we need your advice on a few points. In English, we don't address people by their job title. So we would say, good morning, Miss Russell, and not good morning, lawyer Russell. That's a really Italian thing. As for the penalties, if we don't manage to meet the contractual deadlines, Paying 1% of the established fee for the individual phases for each day of delay to be deducted from the final balance seems excessive to us. It's true. You could propose 0.5% and remember to state that if the professional assignment is cancelled for reasons that cannot be attributed to the firm, the fees and reimbursement of expenses must be paid for the work done or prepared up until the date of notice of cancellation with a surcharge of 25% of the fees due. I have another question. Ownership and copyright are reserved for the professional by law, is that right? Yes. The professional has the right to publish reports, drawings and photographs of the work he or she created and in any case the publication or dissemination of the work designed by third parties must occur with the consent of the author. What should we write in the contract with regard to disputes? It's always best to play on your home turf, so I would use the standard phrase for all disputes that may arise between the parties in relation to the interpretation, performance and resolution of this contract, the Court of Milan shall have exclusive jurisdiction. I get the impression you are working abroad more and more. 
So I think this might be the time to address some issues that should not be ignored, such as extending the insurance policy for civil liability or what types of professional association to adopt abroad based on the advantages and disadvantages above all concerning the tax and operational aspects of the choice. I also advise you to increase the insurance premium to cover legal costs for criminal defense abroad. Good morning, Miss Russell. As regards the new project we are preparing the letter of appointment for, we need your advice on a few points. In English, we don't address people by their job title. So we would say, good morning, Miss Russell, and not good morning, lawyer Russell. That's a really Italian thing. As for the penalties, if we don't manage to meet the contractual deadlines, Paying 1% of the established fee for the individual phases for each day of delay to be deducted from the final balance seems excessive to us. It's true. You could propose 0.5% and remember to state that if the professional assignment is cancelled for reasons that cannot be attributed to the firm, the fees and reimbursement of expenses must be paid for the work done or prepared up until the date of notice of cancellation with a surcharge of 25% of the fees due. I have another question. Ownership and copyright are reserved for the professional by law, is that right? Yes. The professional has the right to publish reports, drawings and photographs of the work he or she created and in any case, the publication or dissemination of the work designed by third parties must occur with the consent of the author. What should we write in the contract with regard to disputes? It's always best to play on your home turf. So I would use the standard phrase, for all disputes that may arise between the parties in relation to the interpretation, performance and resolution of this contract, the Court of Milan shall have exclusive jurisdiction. I get the impression you are working abroad more and more, so I think this might be the time to address some issues that should not be ignored, such as extending the insurance policy for civil liability, or what types of professional association to adopt abroad based on the advantages and disadvantages above all concerning the tax and operational aspects of the choice. I also advise you to increase the insurance premium to cover legal costs for criminal defence abroad. Good morning, Miss Russell. As regards the new project, we are preparing the letter of appointment for, we need your advice on a few points. In English, we don't address people by their job title. So we would say, good morning, Miss Russell, and not good morning, lawyer Russell. That's a really Italian thing. As for the penalties, if we don't manage to meet the contractual deadlines, Paying 1% of the established fee for the individual phases for each day of delay to be deducted from the final balance seems excessive to us. It's true. You could propose 0.5% and remember to state that if the professional assignment is cancelled for reasons that cannot be attributed to the firm, the fees and reimbursement of expenses must be paid for the work done or prepared up until the date of notice of cancellation with a surcharge of 25% of the fees due. I have another question. Ownership and copyright are reserved for the professional by law, is that right? Yes. The professional has the right to publish reports, drawings and photographs of the work he or she created and in any case the publication or dissemination of the work designed by third parties must occur with the consent of the author. What should we write in the contract with regard to disputes? It's always best to play on your home turf. 
So I would use the standard phrase for all disputes that may arise between the parties in relation to the interpretation, performance and resolution of this contract, the Court of Milan shall have exclusive jurisdiction. I get the impression you are working abroad more and more, so I think this might be the time to address some issues that should not be ignored, such as extending the insurance policy for civil liability, or what types of professional association to adopt abroad based on the advantages and disadvantages, above all concerning the tax and operational aspects of the choice. I also advise you to increase the insurance premium to cover legal costs for criminal defence abroad. Letter of Appointment Advice Penalty Contractual Deadline Established Fee Final Balance Cancelled Reimbursement of Expenses Surcharge Ownership and Copyright by law, publication or dissemination, consent, dispute, parties, interpretation, performance and resolution, court, extending the insurance policy for civil liability, professional association, tax and operational aspects, insurance premium, legal costs for criminal defence abroad. Andiamo avanti con altri termini. To assume, supporre, assumere, to appoint or to hire. Esempio pratico, when Frank left the company, I assumed I was going to be appointed director of the environment. As a matter of fact, the company hired Jonathan and he was appointed in my place. Piccola puntualizzazione, appoint, hire, tutti e due assumere, però to hire someone è veramente assumere una persona, la società ha assunto Aldo Zoli, to appoint someone la società ha nominato o ha dato l'incarico ad Aldo Zoli di. Patent Brevetto, patente, driving license, license. We have designed a new logo and we must register it with a patent. A patent, it's also a trademark. For this project, we need to drive out of town. Do you have a driving license, Mark? Because if not, you really need to get a permit. Hello, it's me again. I hope you're not too tired. We have seen many false friends before and we're going to see many more. Demand, esigenza, domanda, Question. For example, we have a deadline for next Monday. I demand that the whole team stays on the project till we finish all the renderings that we need to give. Does anybody have any questions? Remember, if we have to work over the weekend, we will have to do it all together as a team.
technical issues and technical wording. Each country you, do, you go to has differences and particularly in terms of uh, technical issues it is very important to understand what it is and why you have to do certain things. Once I was in Athens, Greece, and we were building one of the new Ralph Lauren stores, which, as you may know, are very precise designs, and all it counts is the aesthetics and not the technic issues that are behind it. I was installing, obviously, electrical plugs, which we need a lot of in a Ralph Lauren store, and the president arrived and he nearly had a heart attack because all the plugs in Greece have to be situated at 40 centimeters from the ground, 40 centimeters dal suolo, which of course means they're very visible and they're actually rather big. La morale della favola è che in qualsiasi paese si vada bisogna veramente essere attenti a quali sono le condizioni e i particolari, le particolarità tecniche di realizzazione.